Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're going to continue our discussion on Rosemount's Differential Pressure Level Transmitters, specifically Rosemount's 3051 SAL Level Transmitter. Now in the last few episodes, we covered the basics of DP level transmitters. So if you missed that, be sure to go ahead and check them out. Today's video, we're gonna look at different options that we have when it comes to connecting the low side of a differential pressure transmitter to the head pressure in the vessel. So if we take a look at a typical setup, you would have something that looks like this. We have the DP level transmitter at the bottom with the high side connected to the process. Now the low side is what we have some variability in terms of how we connect it to the process. Traditionally, we used what was known as a dry leg or a wet leg to connect to the head pressure. And the reason we are doing this is we just want that DP level transmitter to sense the pressure from the liquid. We want to eliminate the effect of head pressure on that high seal side. So when we used what was called a dry leg, it was very simply a half inch pipe which connects the low side of the DP transmitter to the head pressure at the top of the vessel. The challenge when using a dry leg is what tends to happen is the liquid enters that dry leg or condensate builds up there. And if you remember from the first video, it's not about the surface area, it's about the height of the liquid. So you can imagine if you have four, five, six foot of piping, if you have six feet of liquid in there, that's going to then impact your DP level reading and it's not going to match what the level is in your vessel. On the flip side, if you were to use a wet leg, which is having the same piping but having it full of liquid the opposite effect happens where sometimes the liquid can flash off and you can lose liquid in there again also causing inaccuracies in your measurement the other challenge too is if your vessel is outside there could possibly be effects from temperature outside and the variation between the vessel and the ambient temperatures so when it comes to wet legs or dry legs this is typically not what we would recommend for our dp level systems instead we recommend our capillaries with seals and we're going to cover the benefits of that in the next video if you've got any questions about Rosemount's DP level transmitters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.